Solve the following differential equation, xy prime plus 2y equal to 4x squared. So, again ha, itong i-discuss ka rin is katong integrating factor lang kaya pon. Sige, so, rewrite na itong equation na to. So, you have x dy over dx plus 2y equal to 4x squared. So, i-simplify na nato siya class. You have dy over dx plus 2y over x equal to 4x. At ang gibuhat lang is kaning equation na to is gi-divide lang nato siya by x. Okay? So, 2y over x, tapos 4x squared over x is 4x. Okay, so, i-check na to atong equation class, atong simplified equation, if naana ba siya sa form of dy over dx plus p of xy equal to q of x. So, check na to ha. So, dy over dx, dy over dx. p of xy, so, p of x is kani siya, and imuhang y is mo na siya. Then, q of x is mo na siya. q a function of x. Okay, so naa siya sa kanina form. Okay? So again, class, di ba? The integrating factor is equal to e raised to the integral of p of x dx. x p dx. So what's your p of x? Your p of x is, di ba, kanina siya? 2 over x. Tama? Muna mo ang p of x. So yung mong integrating factor is just e raised to the integral of 2 over x dx. So kanina 2, gawas lang na to. Gigawas na to, diri ah. So you have e raised to integral of two. Eh, sorry, e raised to two integral of one over x dx, and the integral of one over x dx is ln of x. Tama, ln of x. So simplify nato atong integrating factor. So again, atong integrating factor is e raised to two ln of x, and then kaning two gisaka nato. Tama, di ba? Pede lang. Now note class na ang e ln of x is just simply equal to x. It's a property. So, atong integrating factor, meaning to say is, x squared. Again, again ha, ang 2 diri ah, gisaka na to. And, by some property class, ang e raised to ln of x, is equal to x. So, kaning e raised to ln of x squared na to, is just simply equal to x squared. So, that's your integrating factor. Now, kana itong integrating factor, i-multiply na ito siya sa itong equation. Okay, so, i-multiply na ito siya diri, ha? The reason nga nang i-multiply na ito siya is, di ba, ato ang problem is a non-exact DE. Wala lang na ito i-prove ka ron, pero pag inyuhang i-try, it's non-exact. So, the reason nga nang i-multiply ni mo siya sa integrating factor is that katong non-exact, mahimo siyang exact after multiplying it with the integrating factor. Okay, so simplify sa nato class. So you have x squared dy over dx plus 2xy. Tama? x squared times 2y over x is 2xy. Tapos x squared times 4x is 4x cubed. Okay? So, okay. So muna ito nakuha ha. Now, pag imuhang i-derive ang integrating factor, x squared times y, na siya. Okay, integrating factor times y. Mo na siya, di ba? Integrating factor times y. Pag imagay siyang i-derive, di ba, mag-product rule ka. Katong UDV plus VDU. Okay, so try na to ha. Unsay answer. So, let your u be x squared. So, du is 2x. v is y. So, dv, this is dv, is dy over dx. So, your UDV plus VDU is x squared dy over dx plus 2. 2x y Tama? So, that's your UDV plus VDU. Question is, kanigo din mong nakuha x squared dy over dx plus 2xy. Di ba same lang man siya, Aniklas? Tama? Again, ha? So, erase na nato ang mga sulat. Again, again, again. Ang after UDV plus VDU, kanig siya, di ba exactly the same lang man siya, Aning, atong equation diri, ah? Therefore, kani siya is just simply equal to this. The derivative of x squared y. Tama? So, kani itong equation ka ron, kani, 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 kana siya. We can write it as derivative of x squared y equal to 4x cubed. Ang 4x cubed, asa na siya gikan? Mo na siya. Again ha? Erase na to ha? 
Again, again ha. Kani siya. Gire-write lang nato siya as this. Kaya nga naman, kay pag i-derive ni mo ni siya class using product rule, maura gapa ng answer na to. Equal to 4x cubed, mauna siya. Okay? Then after ato, nare-write na nato siya class, we can now integrate. di ba Sa exact DE, nag-integrate dayan ta. After ni mo na-prove ang iyang... Well, nag-prove ba tag exactness? Ah, wala, wala. Wala ta nag-prove exactness. Pero my point is, gimultiply naman nato siyang integrate ng factor, no? So, pag i-check ninyo siya class, katong ganina, God, kani, uh, i-check ninyo on your own, ha? Pero, after multiplying it with the integrating factor, nahimo na na siyang exact. Then, atong gibuhat lang diri ay ski. Simplify lang siya, so that, mag-integrate na ta. Okay? The integral of a derivative of something, mag-cancel lang na siya. Integral time, I'm sorry, integral of a derivative of something, mag-cancel lang ni siya. So, mabilin gapon ana is x squared y. Okay? Equal to the integral of 4x cubed dx. Again ha, kaning kanigi integrate lang ni. Okay, so, sige, integral of 4x cubed, that's, Uh, 4x cubed, 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 plus c. So, murag power formula lang ka, power rule. So, again, kaning integral, tapos ang derivative of something, cancel lang na siya class, so, ang nabilin is x squared y. So, simplify class, you have x squared y equal to x raised to 4 plus c. So, that's your final answer. Okay? So, I hope nakafollow lang mo siya nakafollow lang mo. So, anyway, um, check na to siya using calculator technique. Kaya, again, taas na itong solution, pero pag sa board exam, kay katong mag-calculator technique ang maghihapon na itong bahaton. So, i-verify na to siya using calculator technique. So, verify na to answer ganina using calculator technique. So, step number one is to let x equal to 1.1 and y equal to 2.2. So, 1.1 shift store x Okay, then get dy over dx. So, from your original equation, kane, so let's get dy over dx. So, i-rearrange lang yun na siya, class. So, your dy over dx, that's your y prime, tama. So, that's uh, 4x squared minus 2y over x. Okay, so that's 4x squared minus 2y over x. So, get the value of dy over dx. So, gawas ang calculator. So, that's... Wait, sorry, sorry. 4x squared. So, shift store C. Okay? Then, using the choices, isolate C and compute DC over DX to get DY over DX. So, kaya itong nakuha ganina, isolate C. So, C ni mo is simply equal to X squared Y minus X raised to 4. So, isolated na si C. So, derived na ka sa calculator. So, you have X, sorry, X squared Y minus X raised to 4. Ay, sorry, derive the class. Sorry, sorry. Derive x squared y minus x raised to 4. So, alpha x lang ka dere, ah. Calc, 1.1, 2.2, shift, store, A. Then, press up. I-interchange lang niyo yung mga x and y. So, ay mo hang x, may himong y. I mo hang y, may himong x. Imuhang x, mahimong y. Calc. Interchange pa ng value. So, imuhang y karon is 1.1. And imuhang x karon is 2.2. Then, shift, store, b. Then, proceed to sa last step. Step number 4. Negative a over b must be approximately equal to c. So, the negative a over b is 0.4. And c is... 0.4. Therefore, kinitong answer na nakuha is the correct answer for this problem. Okay? So, next video.